Hey guys, today is perfume declutter day, so I'm gonna go over my perfume collection with you, declutter it, and then I guess there'll be like a before and after kind of thing. I don't know, we'll just see. So the first fragrance I have here is Ed Hardy on um, smells kind of like, I don't know, strawberries and cream, something like that. A very kind of uh, berry sort of scent, and it does smell really good, but I haven't worn this for like definitely over a year, so I'm gonna go ahead and let go of it now. This is Victoria's Secret Pink, one of my very first fragrances. I still love this to this day. It's one of my absolute favorites. Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. This is definitely a favorite. Uh, one of Michael's favorites also, so I have to keep that. Here's another Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. This is Bronze Goddess Soleil, and that's another really good one. If you like beachy fragrances, um, well, this is an older one, but they still, this is the fragrance that they come out with every year. They just change the packaging or the bottle. But that's a really good, nice, beachy fragrance. Here's one that I'm going to let go of. This is Victoria's Secret Supermodel. And I thought I thought it was really nice when I first bought it. And I'm not sure if it changed or if I changed. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and let go of this one. Coach Poppy. Um, this is one that I, I did wear a lot. I mean, I got a lot of use out of it. But I'm going to let this go because I just don't reach for it uh, anymore. I haven't worn this in over a year. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that on. Here's one that I do really enjoy wearing. This is Harajuku Lover's G, and it smells kind of like a pina colada. It's just really good. Very tropical, so that's one that I will be keeping, and I think I'm, I should be able to finish that off pretty soon here. It's almost gone. One that I like to wear during wintertime, Jessica Simpson Fancy. I don't know, it's just kind of a, a spicy, warming vanilla goodness, so I will keep that one because that one is fun for wintertime. Here's a really nice one for summertime. This is Escada Taj Sunset. It's one of my favorites. I wear this all the time, so I'm going to go ahead and set that one on my keeping side there. Um, that is Bootsy Oil, and that is for sure not going anywhere. I wear that one almost every day. That's kind of why I don't need to have all these other perfumes is, I mean, like, that's why I'm cleaning out my fragrance collection because I just kind of just wear the same few over and over again. Um, here's two by Pacifica. This is the vanilla one, Island Vanilla. I'm going to set this on the side that I need to sniff because it's been a long time since I've smelled that one, so we'll just set that off to the side. Uh, this is Indian Coconut Nectar. I love this. I've gone through several bottles of these, definitely keeping that, and I'm sure I'll be finishing that one really soon. Here's one that I should have gotten rid of a while back. Michael does not like this one, and I thought I did when I first got it, and then I don't know if it changed or I changed once again. It's one of those things. You're not sure if it went stale or if it's still good and you're just not into it anymore. So Miss Dior Sherry, it was a nice fragrance, but I'm going to set it off over here, and that's going to be one that I'm going to let go of. Here's Vera Wing Princess, another one that I've had for many years. I've seriously had this for about 10 years. And I don't know if it's gotten stale or or what. I'm not sure. To me, it used to kind of smell like cotton candy or something. But I don't think it does anymore. So I don't know. I'll, I'll just set it over here for now because I'm not going to keep that. Oh, we got some little tiny ones down here. Uh, these I'm going to set off to the side because I need to uh, kind of give these a snifferoo again and see if I'm into them. No idea what this is. Can anyone name this bottle? Can you recognize what this little sample is? I have no clue what that is. I don't see a name on it or anything. I don't know. Anyway, this is especially Escada. Boy, you know what? I don't even know if I've ever tried this one. What is this? A solid perfume? Okay, I guess it would help if I would learn to read here. It is a solid fragrance. Okay, so it's a perfume solid. Alright, well that's really cute. I didn't even actually know that that was in there like that. That's very cute. Okay, I will save that. Here's three little perfume oils. These are all the same, actually. I was using these in DIY projects, too. Um, so these are the Sunshine Spa Vanilla Perfume Oil. And they're really delicious smelling. So I'm going to go ahead and set those aside because I do like to use those still. And especially in projects, those are always nice. And then I have like little, um, oh, La Vanilla. Let's see, it's been a long time since I've smelled that. I think I have a rollerball of this. Maybe in the coconut vanilla? Let's see. Yeah, that one is still nice, so I'm going to keep that. Oop. Okay, there we go. What else do we have down here? Oh, it is... Oh, Viva Le Juicy. I've had that for a really long time, too. I haven't used very much of it. It seems to me that this was one that the alcohol really um, stood out to me. 
Like, because I got used to wearing my fragrance oils, right? Like, the Bootsy oil is all natural fragrance oil, and I just got used to using this, so then, um, you know, I only wore that for, like, a, I don't know, a year or two straight, and then when I went back to wearing some of my other ones, they all smelled very, um, and like, very strong with the alcohol, and I couldn't, like, kick that. This is one of them that I couldn't, like, get rid of that alcohol smell out of my nose, so I'm gonna go ahead and let go of that one. I know a lot of people like this one, but I gotta pass on that. This one is, oh, this is uh, the Jessica Simpson Fancy. It actually came in a set with uh, the full size. So I'm going to set that there. Um, oh, Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar. Oh, shoot, I totally forgot that I had this. Definitely keeping that. All right, there's a couple here that I was on the fence about. So I am I have Michael here, and he's pretty good with scents. So can... what do you think of this one? This is the Hot Couture Givenchy. I like that one. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a good one. Um, I just wasn't sure because I haven't reached for it for so long. Okay, here's a Bobby Brown Beach. Tell me what you think of that. Mm. You don't like yeah, it? Nah. I know. Um, when I first got this, I actually ordered it online a long time ago, and I was expecting it to be more like tanning oil kind of scent, you know, mm. like coconutty kind of, you know. But it turned out to be really strong with the jasmine, so I think yeah. I'm going to have to let go of that one. Pink Sugar from Aqualina, and look what happened to the bottle. I used up, you know, some of it, and I haven't used it for over a year. It's all corroded, and this top, it, like, I took out the lid, which, by the way, is, like, all, like, nasty. I don't know what happened. It's been sitting nice and neat, tucked away in its little <laughs> container with the lid on. Like, I try so hard to take care of my stuff, and it just, like, it exploded in there or something. I have no idea what happened. Anyway, the lid, uh, this little part the little squirter won't stay on there anymore and that's just a mess so there you go that's what happens things don't get used they usually end up getting ruined or something how about this one this is the pacifica island vanilla it smells kind of like rum or something Oops. i don't know <laughs> Gosh. the ones i'm keeping versus the ones i'm letting go of yeah pretty evenly split huh I just found another grip of perfume samples in a little container that I had over there. I thought it was just all makeup samples that I had in my container, and it turned out that it ha also had perfume. Um, Alright, let me go ahead and put those in the basket to take with me to work tomorrow. Now that all the sorting is done, this is my new perfume collection, so I have all of my samples now contained right here. So I've got my little pink sugars there now, and my little Bootsy Oil sample. Um, so those are all my samples right there, along with this uh, La Vanilla, which is a pure vanilla. And then especially Escada, the little, um, the little solid perfumes. So I'm actually going to take one of these and put it in my purse. And then I'll just have one little backup there. I have two backups of my Bootsy Oil roller balls. And then two other roller balls back here. This is the um, Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar. Have to keep that one. And then this one is the Jessica Simpson Fancy. So those are all my roller balls now. Uh, this one is the Bootsy Oil, the, the full size, the one ounce, uh, which is the refill for the, um, the roller balls. So that I just put back in its bag. And then these are the other ones that I decided to keep here. I'm keeping both of my Pacificas, the Island Vanilla and the Indian Coconut Nectar. Well, definitely the Indian Coconut Nectar, because as you can see, between the two, this is definitely a favorite. Um, but I do like this one too. I just need to try to get around to using it. So keeping both of those, they're both awesome. You just have to use a lot of them because it's a natural perfume. So you have to just apply a lot or you know reapply regularly because they do tend to fade fast um, now I'm keeping these two this is the Jessica Simpson fancy and Givenchy hot couture those are excellent ones I tend to like both of those for fall and winter fragrances keeping both of my Estee Lauder bronze goddesses uh, the regular one and Soleil and then in the back here the Harajuku lovers G keeping that one Escada Taj sunset and Victoria's Secret Pink, which is a longtime favorite. So that's my collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and put these away now, and uh, then I will let you go.